Hello guys, recently I have covered a post on one of the talent script. It was for how to read multiple files using Open Studio Designer. So for this thing I thought okay I should create a video so that it would be very easy to explain how it is being done in talent. So the requirement is like in the earlier tutorials we were reading only one file it, whether it's a delimited file or, a, or an excel file. But in this tutorial we are going to read multiple files that is uh, what the requirement is the requirement the requirement is to read multiple text file present in the folder in this demo tutorial we will read multiple files available in a folder pass this file as an input and read the contents of the files and display the contents on the console okay so for the file purpose uh, i have created this folder talent testing and inside that when i have created four files it's one two three four and as per the contents are concerned is it is just having one line in all the file this is first file same is for the second file third file and fourth file now in we are going to read multiple files uh, all these files simultaneously so let's see how to do it in talent so first of all if you want to read through read read multiple directories or the files then you have to use this component this is t file list okay just uh, we can check its configuration so here you have first of all you have to browse for the directory where your files are present so in my case it's under c talent testing so i have uh, i have uh, taken this directory after that you have to select the file list type okay if you are uh, only going to iterate through files then you can just select file or if you want to iterate files and directories or subdirectories then you have to select both in my case i have selected both but but as you have already seen in my case it's just a file so it's going to iterate th through the files only after that you can uh, describe the file mask here if you want to add some some mask here then you have to just click on this plus sign and you have to define everything in double quotes so yeah in my case it's star dot star it means it will read all the files present in the directory if you want to apply some filter then after dot you can put dot txt dot uh, excel x if you want to read excel file so based on that when you can define what kind of files you want to read after that uh, we have some other criteria order by you can uh, order the files based on these parameters by default or by file name by file size or by modified date so based on these parameters you can define the sequence of your files after that uh, you can define the ascending or descending order suppose you have uh, applied this uh, filter and after that uh, you can you can use this order by criteria like it should be in ascending or descending order so this is all you have to do in the t file list just to read all the files okay after that uh, in my case it's a text file in if you are working through excel then you have to use t file t file input excel component here but in my case it's a text file so i'm using t file input delimiter so let's see how it is being set so the question is here because we are not going to you know read the fixed file so we have to define a global parameter here so global parameter what it does means based on the file name it will this value will get changed and it will take the uh, defined value whatever comes from the t file list so in that case in t file list uh, you have four kind of uh, global parameters okay means you can use these kind of parameters so the first is the current file okay when you are using this component it will only read the file comp file name without any path the second is the current file path in this case it, it will read the current file name with the current with the complete path the next is the file extension so in this case it will read the extension of the file the other is the only directory name with the path so in the, this case it will read only the directory and other is the number of files so for that we have this parameter so as per your requirement you can uh, select any one of any one of it i in actually in my case it's uh, it's the file name with the path because system has to know where uh, you have kept your files so for that one 
for that thing actually it, it's need uh, file directory also so we are going to use this uh, parameter it's a t file list current file path so based on the, this uh, parameter it will take the directory also and uh, uh, inside your directory it will be able to read the files so i have i'm using this parameter uh, i'm using this parameter here hmm, where is that okay hmm. So I have just inserted uh, this parameter here. Uh, after that, everyone else is the default values. And uh, you have to define the schema also if you want to read the file contents. In my case, it's just a uh, one line. So I have uh, just described one column with the uh, length of 500 character and it will be of a string type. So suppose in your case, you are getting multiple columns and you are having different type of uh, values. So based on that, when you can define your schema here and uh, based on your schema only, it's going to talent uh, will be able to read your files. If you haven't defined any schema and you're just passing the data, then it won't be able to read anything and you won't be able to get any output. So in, in so after, uh, setting the t file input delimited parameters uh, because we have to display everything on the console on the output so i'm using this t log row parameter i haven't done anything here i have just used this component you don't have to do anything in this component you can just set it up and after that uh, you can just run the job so just now everything has been set up so i'm going to run this job okay so <clears throat> like four execution finished and you can see here we are getting output from uh, all four files so the this output is from first file this is from second this is from third and this is from fourth file so this is how you can read the multiple files and um, i will give this link in the description so that uh, if you have any doubt you can go through this article also i have uh, yeah, defined everything here from the input to the job directory and how it is being set and after that uh, you will have the component details also if you want to uh, want to know more about this component then you can just click on these links and you can go through the component details okay so thanks for watching and please subscribe